Welcome, welcome. Today we've got the cutest skirt, amazing. I love this skirt, I hope you will too. I, I'm using it, the pattern of the month, 2009 Vera skirt, that's the beginning of it. Because I saw this, this is um, Altazara. Altazara is a designer, Joseph Altazara. It's A-L-T-U-Z-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. He was born in Paris, he's a French designer, um, born and raised in Paris, launched a, a line, um, I think in 2008, somewhere in there. So relatively young, new designer, has a beautiful job. And I watch him all the time, just on different things he does, and I would recommend you do it too. This is called his Scrimshaw skirt. And that's why we titled it that. But it's so simply done and so flattering and such a great use of fabric. So I wanna talk first about um, the skirt itself, what it can, you know, how versatile it can be, because I'm always saying to you, kind of go the whole outfit, think, think whole outfits rather than um, just the skirt. We love the skirt, but we still wanna think whole outfit and then work it backwards. And then we'll talk the pattern and then we'll talk fabric combinations and hold this whole process. Okay, so we first saw the skirt. If you go to uh, Altazara, the, the website, .com, you can see the skirt and go, put in scrimshaw skirt, scrimshaw skirt. You can see a movement of it. And what you'll see in that is that there are slits at every joint. I didn't do that. I didn't want that many slits. <laughs> so you can kind of decide how many slits you want and how high you want them. They're, you know, notice mine, mine's above the knee. They're slit, you know high so you can see that I wanted you to see this next picture is a picture of the side and so what they've done is taken a part of the front a part of the back and put it together but eliminated the side seam and we'll talk about how to do that this next picture I wanted you to see it's um, a, a top being worn with it it's the wrap top from Vi Diane von Furstenberg it's beautiful it's our 650 it could be done exactly to go with this it's one option the next option is a top it's by Altazara also and it's um, same fabric and that looks like our classic blouse pattern number 600 so you see you could really make just a little suit over it and then maybe even put a jean jacket I think would be adorable if you did a sleeveless classic blouse same fabric and then did like a little jean jacket or 196 the four-way cardi all of those would just be cute, cute little options. And it could be dressy, casual, it could do any, anything you want. The other thing I want you to see is this next one. And the only reason I want you to see this, it'd be like just a 195 or 115 Anne's top just with a reduced neckline, without the collar, I mean. But I wanted you to see the harsh contrast as far as skirts. A lot of times when we go to what are we going to wear with it? We have a tendency to try to match. And I love these these contrasts that you're seeing, both in the orange wrap um, and then again in this top as well. It just gives you a really different flavor. Okay, so let's talk pattern. And we'll look at this next illustration and kind of show you what I did here. So the first thing you're going to do is take the front and the back of the pattern and make it one. You, so in other words, you don't want to cut it on a fold and just look at the center front of the skirt and make it one and then do the same to the front and the same to the back. Okay, do that because you, you want to deal with the whole thing. Then on the dart, there's two darts. One is called the center dart. That's the one closest to the center and one's called the side dart. And that's the one closer to the side. Through the side dart, you're going to take and literally just go straight down with it. And you're going to do that both in the front and in the back. And that's why I say number two is cut off the front and the back. Use those darts as great placement areas because what you're going to do then, and you can see in the, the next step, is I'm taking, <clears throat> if this is my um, front here, you can see that I took part of the front, part of the back, and I'm going to put them together. And it shows it in the illustration. When you go to put them together, be sure you overlap seam allowances because there's seam allowances there at that side. So both of those side pieces have seam allowance. Make sure you're overlapping them. And what's left, you're going to find that you have a little dart right there at the top. And so in order to get rid of that side seam, keep the dart. That's a good thing. You, want it to ha you don't want to destroy the fit. And so I put a little circle around there so you can see that you want to just sew that whatever doesn't match as a dart at the top. Very simple to do. And so now you see that you've just got three pieces. You've got the front, and this is straight on me, but it's crooked on this little mannequin, but anyway. 
goes to show you how crooked I am. It's, you've got the back, you've got the side, and then you've got the front. Now I went ahead and did line, but I did the lining pieces exactly the same. So in the original pattern, I took away the lining pieces. I still used my two facing pieces. Those were no problem. And then I just made the lining minus those facing pieces. You have an invisible zipper. This, this one that I looked at has an invisible zipper Almost always invisible zippers on the left-hand side. That's kind of like just a rule. This invisible zipper's on the right-hand side. So we have invisible zippers on the site. No big deal. Add one to your cart. And I and then it's longer than you'll need. So you just put it in and then I just cut it off. And so it's on the right-hand side and it just looks great. And then your slit is in this front opening. Well, the, the one slit, you can put slits wherever you want. But I put this just in the front on the left-hand side between the center front and the side front piece. And so what I did is I surged that whole entire piece when I was sewing it and then stitched it together with a sewing machine and so that they could fold back and then the lining's just inside and I did the exact same thing to the lining. Okay, so that is ideas of the skirt, what to wear with it so you get a complete look and complete outfit. I am using, I use two yards. It's fabric number 3532. It's 100% Italian cotton. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful to sew with. I just absolutely loved it. So like I said, I used two yards and that was just because you're gonna place these panels different directions. When you're using a striped effect, obviously this, just the side is gonna be horizontal because it gives you a really slimming look, but I can see it also in the side being black and the rest of the skirt being you know, a summer color. So there's so many things you can do with it as far as fabric placement on the cloth, a border print here and the rest solid. It just, my mind goes crazy when I think of all those options and hopefully yours as well. So this Scrimshaw skirt is really fun. It's really simple. It worked up very quick and I can see that it's just a great base to the wardrobe. If I had enough fabric left, I think it'd have been adorable to do a little black and white or navy and white to match my jacket but I, I don't have enough fabric so I shouldn't even go there all right so the goal is to have happy sewing just so that I don't get as many emails the shirt I have on the t-shirt I have on is 215 it's Nikki's top and the fabric is 3266 and I use two yards and I love this shirt it's so comfortable you guys it's literally like you can crawl into your pajamas <laughs> anyway we won't talk that happy sewing from silhouette patterns